Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl Arkell. Jane Tara. Welcome to What Are You Reading? Mm. Welcome, everyone. We've got so much to tell you today. <laughs> so many books, so much information that you need to diarise. Um, there's a lot going on, isn't there, Jane? There is. And we've just been taking some really cool photos we with have. the rest of the team with yeah. Santa hats and things like that. It's been fun. Yes, yeah. we're working up to Christmas and I mm. think by next week it's going to start to look a lot like Christmas. Yeah, well, it already feels a lot like Christmas at the moment mm. because we're preparing mm. our Christmas events you know and things and yeah the lead up <laughs> so this is what are you reading cheryl arkell and jane tara um we've got a stack of books for you today um and you know some ones that will make great christmas presents too mm. um so you tell us what you know how it works you tell us what you're reading and we'll tell you what we're reading here they all come here yeah, they, they know come how do you want to works. start with grisham yeah, the book of the yeah, week book yeah. of the week john grisham i mean he does no one does courtroom drama like John and um, this is the second in this particular series um, about a woman who hears um, about a judge who has uh, possibly murdered someone and it turns out this particular judge has um, murdered a lot of people and what's great about this is you actually know it all the way through so it's not a who done it it's a cat and mouse it's like a hunt and it's really like you know you just keep turning the pages so it's a lot of fun great summer read grab hold all right welcome everybody um it Coming in, um, Sharon says, hi. Christine says, good afternoon. Hi, Christine. Uh, Nicole says, hi, ladies. Hi. I'm mm. I'm in a reading slump at the moment. Oh. Nicole, that's not good, and you've come to the right place for yes. that. Actually, I'm going, to, I'm going to hold up a book that probably could help a reading yeah. slump because I find when I'm in a reading slump myself, which does happen, I go to short stories or mm, nonfiction. You do, yeah. Um, and this is one that I think might help. Um, it's called Seeking Asylum, Our Stories. I love this book. It's a really special book. It is, um, it's very new. It will make the perfect Christmas present. And it profiles all these beautiful um, asylum seekers that have sought asylum in Australia. Mm. And one of them is Ralia, this one here really beautiful photo sorry jane i'm just gonna no, put that over right. and i'm going to read what <laughs> ralia says all i wanted was a life where i could fall asleep safely mm. go to school and be treated the same and this is what i love about this book it reminds us that we are all here for the same reason really mm. what we need is shelter food and stories mm. um and you know i feel as though all of us uh, should be um not more tolerant because I know a lot of us are and readers have such great empathy, but just be aware. This is a really beautiful book. The stories are inspiring. They're not sad, but it does cover the, the plight of um, asylum seekers. Yeah, and, and it puts it in perspective too, yeah, doesn't absolutely. it, the year that we've had. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm. Okay, do you want to go with yours? Yeah, and then, so we've I mean, got um, uh, podcast <gasps> out now. So, Loved it. Yeah. And you, I mean, you could tell you were just enjoying talking oh, to him. So, wonderful spot. Yeah, so David Hunt, this is book number three in his Australian history series, um, satirical series. He's amazing. He's such a great storyteller, which comes across in the podcast. So go and listen to it. Um, this The book is out now and it's also available in audio. Yeah. Now, Vivian says she's reading The Lebs, um, which is by ah, yes, um, Muhammad. Um, Muhammad um, forgotten his surname. But we were just we talking about him earlier. We were just talking. Yeah. Can somebody yeah. help us with that? <laughs> Muhammad Ahmed. That's yeah. right. And who I've spoken to on a podcast yeah. a couple of times, actually. Well, he was in the office a, couple, a few months yeah, ago. Yeah, a few months ago, mm -hmm. just before the lockdown, yeah. actually. Um, and also he features in that ABC yeah. series. What's that called about books? The books. Books that made, that made us, us. Mm. Um, and Claudia Carvin's hosting that. Mm. I watched um, the two episodes uh, last night. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Um, and uh, and we, you know, there is um, Muhammad at Punchbowl High talking about the lips. Yeah. Um, so really a good book, uh, Vivian. You'll enjoy that. It's, mm. it's tough and, going. And you've got two books after that to read That's as well right. in this autofiction series that he does. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, Sharon is reading Bottle Brush Creek um, by Maya Linnell and yep. is really enjoying Great. it. Denise says, hi. Hi, Denise. Danielle says, hi. Hi, Danielle. Sandra says, hi. I'm reading and Sandra is reading The Yield by yeah, Tara June right. Winch. Um, can see why it's won so many awards. Mm. And actually she was in the series too last night. Yeah. Um, she's wonderful. What a wonderful writer. Stephanie um, is reading The Younger Wife. Mm. Um, Helen says hi to both of us and is reading Magpie. Magpie's Ben by Maya Linnell. Mm. I've ordered the judges list for my husband. Um, he is, he yeah, loves cool. John Grisham. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Christine says, hi, just finished The Spy's Wife. Loved it. A couple of unusual twists. Made it so much more interesting. Mm. Great read. Kate says, hi, I'm reading The Wo the Women of Pearl Island and yep. loving it. Judy is reading Into the Night by Sarah Bailey. Do we have a? No. No. no okay. Yeah. Such a talented Aussie author. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Margaret says, oh, hi from hi, England. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, Oh, you know her. Yeah. Oh, wow. Big reader. <laughs> oh, well, she's reading yeah. Mr. Loveman. So there yeah. you go. Cool. Yeah. Hey, hi Cheryl and Jane. I'm reading Gary Dishes, The Way It Is Now. Mm. Jesse, um, good afternoon, ladies. Reading The Tea Ladies of St. Jude mm. by Joanna Nell. Um, Tracy says hello. Christine, currently reading Lily's Promise by Lily Ebert. I've never heard of that. No. no. Linda, I'm reading Seven and a Half. Oh my God. Ah, segue, segue. Linda, segue. Um, I chatted with him this morning. Um, I recorded a podcast. Now, I've known. Christos for so many years I remember reading loaded in manuscript back when mm. and our our careers our, our, our paths have crossed because of our careers because he's a writer mm. but I've always taken to him and I, I I just I really do love him and I've got a very big crush on him so we talked about the art of the crush yeah. just so you know that it was a very serious podcast um, and we talked about the fact that I had a crush on him but do you know what I found out today he's got a crush on me too and in fact, they didn't talk about books. They just talked about each other and the crush. Yeah. <laughs> no, we did. We talked about this yeah. quite a lot. It's called yeah. Seven and a Half. It's kind of a, a fictional memoir. It's about a writer called Christos that um, takes some time off and goes to a cabin to write um, and thinking about what he's going to write. Wonderful book, wonderful writer. I just love him mm. so much. We talked about how, you know, um, that for me, um, every book that I've read of Christos's has been a milestone in my yeah, life right. and where yeah. I'm at. It's really wonderful. Yeah. Anyway, that's out now. Mm. Thank you for that segue, Linda. Um, Melissa says, hi. Hi, Melissa. Yvonne says, hi, ladies. I'm reading Treasure and Dirt. It's up cool. to Chris's usually, hi, usual high standard He's and it is. amazing. Yeah. Um, Shall we... Were we talking about the Christmas party and who's going to be guests? Well, we haven't yet. No. But, but now we're... You, yes, we might talk about who's coming up. Um, all right, let's talk about the Christmas yeah, party. Shall we yeah. put up the Christmas party slide? Okay, so you, all of you at home, are invited to our Christmas party. Now, this is how it works. It's going to be Jane and I. It's the same as last year, same format as last year. It's via Facebook Live, the same format that we're doing now. Uh, we'll also stream it on YouTube. And we are going to be drinking champagne, <laughs> celebrating Christmas, celebrating the end of a very big year, mm. and we're going to have some guest authors. And Chris Hammer might be one of them. Mm. But do you know what else we're doing? And look out for this. In the next week or so, we're going to put out details of a competition, which we will announce that night. And the competition winners get a hundred dollar voucher, and we have ten. Yeah, is that a great prize? We've got ten hundred dollar vouchers to give yeah. away, um, and we would hope that you would spend them at your local bookstore. Yeah, right. Mm. So, if you want to participate, if you want to come to the Christmas party, uh, it's the fifteenth at eight pm. Mm. But also look out for the competition posts that are going to be posted on Facebook and our weekly newsletter. Yep, in the okay. EDM if you don't see it on Facebook. I think mm. if you've got any questions, ask me now, but yeah. I think they're all the details, okay? Mm. Grace says, hello, lovely ladies. Oh, thank you, Grace. Uh, Grace is reading The Husband. Mm. Tracy is reading The Tea Ladies of St Jude's Hospital. Good. Gail, thank you, ladies, for all your great recommendations this year. It's a mm. pleasure, Gail. We love this segment, as yeah. you can see. Rachel is reading Go Tell the Bees that I am yeah. gone finally. Now, segway. Segway. <laughs> Segway, segway, Diana Gabaldon. Yeah. Um, this is the ninth book in the um, best-selling Outlander series and, of course, it's a brick of a book, yeah. as you can see, um, but I think all Diana Gabaldon fans expect that. Ah, oh, and, and you know, this is going to be a big summer read. People it is. People are just going to take time there to... There we go, yeah. Mm. 
And also, did I tell you I've had lunch with her? Well, you did, but tell us again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, many years ago, I um, I worked at a publisher. I worked at what was Random House rather than Penguin Random House at the time. Um, and she happened to be in town, so we mm. went out to lunch. And there you go. It's um, huge. Have you watched huge. the series? Like, are you, no. are you into Men in Kilts? Did no. you get into the hot? You're not? No, no, I haven't watched any of those. Have you watched it? I don't understand what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't know how we work together. We're so different. Okay, what else is happening? Okay, so that was segue. Yeah. Um, hang on. Uh, Michelle, hi, Michelle. Yeah. Um, Michelle has just was through Sally Hepworth, the younger wife, and loved it. Cool. Faye, are you enjoying it? Uh, gosh, which one? I'm, I'm not sure what you're asking me about. Melissa, I'm reading people like them, concise and fascinating. Mm. Uh, Kylie, I'm reading The Spy's Wife yep. by Fiona McIntosh. So good. Oh, we love Fiona. Yep. Tamara, hi, ladies. I'm reading Freckles by Cecilia O'Hearn. She's lovely. That's a lovely book. I also recorded a podcast with mm. her, Cecilia. Linda um, uh, is talking about uh, Seven and a Half. It's very different, mm. but I love his writing style. Absolutely. Meredith, I've just finished Before You Knew My Name mm. by Jacqueline Boldlitz. And we were talking about that today. It we was are. actually Jasmine, her, your pick for the year, wasn't That's it? Right. It was one of your, her favourite books of the whole year. Yeah, yeah. wow. Yeah. Uh, Jane, I'm reading Fear No Evil by James Patterson. It's great. We were mm. talking about James yeah. Patterson too, weren't we? <laughs> Talk a lot about books. Well, we do, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie is reading Windswept and interesting. Oh, uh, it's great. Yes, and Billy Connolly's autobiography. Yeah, yes. and he is really windswept and interesting, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Is that the title yeah. of the book? Yeah, Isn't that because that's that's how he is. He sees himself as windswept and oh, interesting. Right. Yeah. Joy Bell says hi. Hi, Joy Bell. And Joy Bell's actually currently reading, so we're happy about that, Joy Bell. Yep. Uh, Louise, hi, Cheryl and Jane. Currently listening to Death of a River Guide, author by Richard Flanagan. Yeah. Also love watching Claudia's take on books and, uh, on the ABC. Excellent. I really enjoyed mm. it too. Um, I watched both episodes that are out last night. And I really loved it because I watched it because I knew Christos Charkos yeah. was on it and I wanted to I'm kind of mention it, it in, yeah, yeah, in the podcast today, but I didn't mention mm. it. So anyway. No, you were too busy talking about how you had a crush on Yeah, we were too, too busy talking yeah. about crushes. <laughs> Stacey, um, hi, Stacey, is reading The Midnight Library and loving it. Mm. Um, are you going to do anything oh, yeah. today? No, I'm just having I mean, that. I, just, I, just, I have to read all the comments. I have to talk about all the books and she's just sitting there. Yeah, talk about mm -hmm. another one. Did yeah. we talk about that? Uh, okay, all right. So I don't know why Jane's here today at all. <laughs> Just a pretty for face green. for the green, for a contrast. <laughs> um, hey, we're going to talk about this kid, beautiful kids' book mm. by Adam Goods and Ellie Lang. It's called Somebody's Land. It's part of a series. It's illustrated by David Hardy. Do you know I love this book and I love the fact that it's part of a series, but I'm also going to tell you that we are promoting this book on our kids' page and it has gone viral. There's a beautiful photo of, of Adam himself and I, when things like that happen, it's because of people like you out there yeah. that really support us, that really show empathy, that really know good writing. And what what do you want to add to that, Jane? Well, it just, just made me feel wonderful. Yeah, yeah. a little yeah. emotional actually yes. when we saw the numbers. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's really because I think you readers out there are just so open to anything, and I love that. So have a look at this. It would be a great Christmas present. Stunning um, illustrations. Gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. Stun stunning il illustrations. And the illustrator is, we will uh, mention David. it. Yeah, some, I do. It was yeah, on the front page. Uh, yeah, um, and he is um, also David the Hardy. First Nations illustrator. Yeah. There we go. I did say yeah, David yeah. Hardy. She wasn't listening, oh. just so you all know. <laughs> um <laughs> Kaz, reading The Spy's Wife, also by Fiona McIntosh. Hi, yeah. Wynne. Oh, Stanley Tucci's memoir, My yeah. Life Through Food. I mean, I love that guy. Yeah. Do you know one of my favourite movies was, I only found out, it's called The Big Night. Yeah. Uh, do you know that movie? Yeah. Um, and I love the soundtrack. And I only found out recently that he directed that movie. Mm. Um, mm. He's wonderful. Mm. Um, and I've been listening to a little bit. I, I've just started listening to the book. Does he um, read it? Yeah, he reads it. Yeah. Don't you love that? Yeah. Anyway, wonderful. And I also listen to him on a podcast. Uh, Keisha, hi, I'm reading the, the Lieutenant by the fabulous Kate Grenville. Just brilliant. Mm. Also, she was on the ABC series last night. Joy Bell is reading Carly Lane, Take Me Home. Yeah. Good on you, Joy Bell. Julie, I'm having a trip back in time and reading To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, and I love it too. I mean, 
honestly, I find that that is my biggest comfort book, even though it's difficult topics. You know, it talks about race and poverty and all sorts yeah. of things. Um, but, wow, it's such a wonderful read, isn't it? Um, Diane says, hi, Jane and Cheryl. I'm reading Oyster Shaw by Ruth Saverton and loving it. Louise says, Cheryl, you blushed when you were talking about Christos. <laughs> it's true, Louise. It's true. Okay, are you going to do any work yeah, today? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. about Vanessa. So Vanessa McCausland was the um, event last night. The Beautiful Words, we don't have a copy in the office, is her latest That's book. it here. You voted her last book, The Valley of Lost Stories, onto the top 100 this year. So The Beautiful Words is her latest. Now, I haven't read The Beautiful Words, and for one reason only, this was my favourite last year, and I wanted to save it for the Christmas break because she really is a sensational writer. So, and I know a lot of people out there yeah. are really embracing her now. So, uh, the beautiful words. Great and she was wonderful yeah. last night. She was interviewed yeah. by Rachel Johns. Yes. Yeah. Um, and she did really well. So, that's yeah. fantastic. Um, fancy meeting you here is the girls from the Rails are back. Yes, they did that on purpose, mm -hmm. uh, designed it on purpose for that. And um, it is a uh, love story about someone like missing opportunities, I guess, and sort of finding someone that um, you had a relationship for with. And so rom com, but a lot of heart and everything. And uh, I'm just going to do a trio here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Catching Chow, up. Yeah, Catching yeah. up. <laughs> Chow Bella. Yeah. Oh, we love that. One of my favourite reads of the year. The absolutely sensational Kate Langbrook. I read all memoir, travel memoirs, and I've got to say this is one of the best I've read in years. Oh, Italy. there we go. Yeah. Good call. Okay, so we read Louise's Julie, the girl under the olive tree, um, mm. and Julie's from Melbourne, Victoria. Nalima, hi, Nalima. Um, now I am eager, ladies. Who are the authors? Well, we've given a hint. This is for the Christmas party. And don't forget, 15th of December, and you've got to have your own drink. It can yeah. be water. It can be coffee, tea, preferably champagne. champagne. That's our favourite drink. Uh, Nalima, you'll find out who's on. Valentina, reading The Perfect Family by Robin Harding and enjoying it so far. Hi to Anne. Tracy, I'm so looking forward to the Christmas party. Last year was such fun. It was. Yeah. It really was. Um, Anne, is it fiction? Um, it's seven and a half. Yes. Uh, it is fiction. I think that's what you're referring to. It mm. is fiction, but it's called a it's kind of fiction memoir, actually. Um, it's so worth a read. Okay, Lisa, finally started the Seven Sisters series by Lucinda Riley. Mm. Kathy it's very um, is reading something in the wine by Tricia Stringer. Oh, mm. We love Tricia. She's usually with us on a Thursday, isn't yeah. she? But maybe she's got head down, bum up, and is right on her next book. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy says, hi, from Geraldton, Western Australia. I'm reading The Rosie Project. And, Wendy, I've been to Geraldton uh, with Michael Robotham, actually. Ah. So there you go. I've, I've got a story for just about every Australian. <laughs> I had to That's cut it like, so like, where yeah. are we now? What? Yeah, yeah. Wendy is re also reading Queen of Storms, Volume 2. Yeah. Um, and waiting the next part for Part 3. Um, so Anne says, I'm new here. What do you do? Well, we recommend books, Anne. Barbie, um, The Hush, and it makes me so angry, our future. Yeah, absolutely. That's was our book of the week last week, wasn't it? Yes. By Sarah. Yeah. Sarah. Uh, Foster. Foster. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Barbie, I, I think I saw your comment. It's so true. Alona. Hi, Alona. People Like Them is what she's reading by Samira Sadira. Mm. Um, Jean China by Edward Rutherford. That's a brick of a book. Mm. Um, Anne is from Mackay in Queensland. Yeah, welcome. I think Anne's a newbie and she's, she's getting to know us. Getting so so welcome. Yeah. yeah. Um, Tracy. Um, Oh, he's responding to Anne. Nalima, hi, everyone. Reading, uh, 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 leading with empathy, reading Jack de Ahern. So, yeah, okay. Um, all right, Tracy, the cover of Somebody's Land is beautiful. Oh, that's the kids' book. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, there we go. We'll mm. put that up again because it really is. The illustrator is David Hardy and it's written by Adam Goods and Ellie Lang. Um, Meryl, uh, hi, reading Over My Dead Body by Jeffrey Archer. Vicky is reading Educated by Tara Westover. Mm. Now, that's another story. She came here for a Rise Festival and she came to our office yeah. back when yeah. um, and we recorded a podcast with her. She mm. was super interesting. Mm. Um, she could have been so damaged but she was so lovely. Um, mm. 
And that book has just lingered. People are still reading it. Alice, I'm reading The Christmas Pig and loving it. Next, I'll read it with my daughter. That's wonderful. Keisha, hi, Keisha. I got somebody's land for my nieces. I read it before I gave it to them. Beautiful story and illustrations. Wonderful. Um, David is working his way through Bryce Courtney's books Good, at the moment yeah. and reading mm. Jessica right now. Yeah. Well, they're books that have lasted, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, certainly. wonderful writer. Yeah. Christine, it was lovely evening with Vanessa. That was last night. Looking forward to reading her mm. new one. Um, David, Judy Nunn's Showtime book is brilliant. Very true. It is so true. What yeah. else have you got there? Sarah Barry has a new one out, oh, yeah, Unforgiven, wonderful. and um, she she did, I think it was a trilogy, in, it was a few books anyway, set in Tasmania, you know, those kind of real dark thrillers. This one is set on the central coast and it's about a woman who hunts down uh, criminals. It's uh, her usual gritty read and she has really built up a following. So you know who she is and if you don't, start here. Yeah. All right, we've talked about this before. Gary Linnell, ex-journalist, is now writing um, really great non-fiction um, and this is called The Devil's Work um, and it's about a serial killer, an Australian serial killer called, um, what was his name, Frederick Deeming. Mm. Um, and the podcast, I recorded a podcast with Gary, really great conversation, mm. really interesting. He's book. amazing because he kind yeah. of writes this true crime as if it's actually fiction yeah. and it's just like... Yeah. Can I also talk about the lovely Anne Patchett? Yeah. That's Anne's dog, yeah. uh, the, These Precious Days. Yeah. Um, again, I recorded a podcast with her. This is a collection of short stories and essays, really beautifully written. Um, every one of them is golden, actually. Um, and, do you know, I had the loveliest conversation with her and it was the first time that I'd met her. So I met her over Zoom, but that was the first time. But I'd been following her career forever. Yeah. Okay, so David said we've read that. Showtime is brilliant. Uh, Natalie, hi, Natalie. Natalie's reading Meet Me in Another Life by Caterone and Sylvie. Um, Joby said last <laughs> night uh, it was terrific. Oh, Trisha, <laughs> Trisha String is here. I'm here. Loving you two chatting as always. I'm loving Claudia talking yeah. books on the ABC. So are we. We're really enjoying it. Now off to um, work. Off to work, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Trisha is one of our resident writers. We've got a few. Oh, yeah, Mary yeah. Lou Stevens is coming up. Yeah. Uh, Rosalind says, hi, Mary Lou, another resident writer, is reading The Dutch House by Anne sure. Patchett for Book Club. It's even better the second time, a masterpiece. Mm. Beautiful. I was talking to someone the other day and they were saying that that book has just sat with them, you know. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, okay. Uh, uh, Rosalind is reading The Way It Is Now by Gary Disher. Yeah. Oh, Julieta, our other resident author. Hi, ladies. I'm reading Phosphorescence by Julia Baird. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, Diane, looking forward to Sarah Barry's new book. All her books are brilliant yeah. and I highly recommend them. Okay, what else have I got? I think... I'm running. I've got a few. Um, the TV series is out now. Yeah. And this is a TV tie-in edition of the first novel in the Wheel of Time series. Mm. Wow. So that's out now. Um, there's also the movie June is out now. June is the best-selling sci-fi novel of all time. Mm. Right. Um, new film adaptation is out now and that's And the happening. team all went together to the premiere of the film. Actually. They did, so act, the yeah. tie-in with the book. Yeah, mm. wonderful. It's nice, some of the perks of working in books. Yeah. Uh, the jo new Jodie Pico, I know you're all loving this because I've seen a lot of comments about it. Um, so that's the latest um, and that's out now. Yeah. And then we've got <gasps> The Diaries of Joan Collins. Um, She's fabulous. She's so, so fabulous. She's Dame Joan Collins. Yeah. It, it's hilarious. No holes, uh, no, I mean, she's just telling it all. Yeah. Um, and it's her diaries written between 1989 and 2009. Um, yeah. Oh, gosh, we forgot to say whether they're available in audio. Actually, well, yeah, all the that books is. that we've discussed yeah. today are available in audio. Sorry, um, I meant to say it at every point. But anyway, I forgot. Um can I just say that her sister Jackie came to my place once? Yeah, I so, loved her book so much. Lucky, yeah, Scent and Jello, or whatever her name was. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, so, and also too, um, when she came to see me, I've got a photo of it actually. You know, her in my kitchen. But anyway, um, she had had breast cancer, and she decided not to pursue treatment and mm. not tell anyone. And she didn't even tell her sister. You might all remember this. Yeah. Um, and died quietly and, uh, I, yeah, anyway, it was a moment and she was such fun and just wonderful and warm to have and they have a really, they had a really good relationship. Yeah. 
uh, Jackie and Joan. Um, but there they are, and that's uh, she's, Joan. She is really fabulous. She like her really husband's fabulous. like thirty years younger than her. That's and, right. Yeah. <laughs> Sandra has ordered the new Jodie Picot book um, and yeah. ten others. Right. Speaking <laughs> of ordering books, don't forget um, that you can buy books online with us. Um, you can jump onto the website or you can click through your Facebook, whatever way you want to get there. And um, we've got a few retailers. We've got Booktopia. We've got Amazon. Mm. We've got iBooks, Apple, um, and you can go to Big W, whatever you get like. The audio. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so you can purchase through us. We've told you about the Christmas party. We've told you that our podcasts are all, you know, we're releasing two mm -hmm. a week. Um, and I think that might be it from us this week. Yeah, just um, keep an eye out on both Facebook and in the newsletter for more information about the Christmas party and how you can be in the, win, you know, to win a prize. So mm -hmm. we've got next week we're doing What Are You Reading next Thursday and then the yeah. week after, the Wednesday, is the Christmas party. Yeah. So we've only got a few more What Are You Readings for the year and then we're going to shut down from when? From, from the sort of 17. Well, next next week is the last What Are You Reading? And then we have our Christmas event and then we'll see you again after um, at the end of January. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it from us. Take care, everybody. Keep reading um, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.